Good morning and happy new year. As we enter into this new year together, a year where there'll be change but also hope, let us spend some time in prayer. Lord of our journeys, help us this day to have eyes to see your leading, ears to hear your guidance and a heart of courage that we may journey faithfully and find your way, even when the path may seem difficult and dark. Amen. And we sing our first hymn, O Worship the Lord in the Beauty of Holiness. Rachel will now bring us this week's Bible reading, followed by the talk, which this week is being given by Archdeacon Simon. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. 
Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Where is the one who is born King of the Jews? Three things brought the wise men to Jesus, the star, their wisdom, the scripture. We don't know what kind of star it was. We often imagine a one-off event, a confluence of planets, a comet, a supernova, leading these astrologers to ask, what is happening now? Or it might have been one of our regular heavenly bodies, perhaps the sun itself, brightest and warmest and kingliest of stars, traveling always east to west, east to west, leading these astrologers to ask, why does it do that? Where is it going? Whatever kind of star prompted them, they left their country in search of a better one with this question on their lips, where is the king? We're looking for a king great enough for these signs, great enough for our longings. What is prompting you, things good or bad or unexplained in this world, to ask what God is doing, to ask why things are as they are, to ask where justice and peace can be found? What is prompting you? And the star led them from the east to the west, to the Mediterranean Sea, and they could go no further. And they must have asked, who is the king in this country? And they found King Herod, a puppet propped up by the Romans to keep this frontier secure from rebellion. And we were fortunate that these magi were wise indeed, so that they could see that Herod called the king was not the one they were looking for, just a self-serving politician. There are plenty of those in all countries. Not the king of justice and peace, but of deceit and self-promotion. So being wise, they left him behind and went another route. Are you using your wisdom to see who is not the real deal? to avoid places where there are deceits and manipulations rather than light and hope, and like wise men, to leave them alone and go a different way. But one guiding light Herod had that the wise men lacked, the scripture, access to God's word. Where is the king to be born? In Bethlehem like David, in Bethlehem, as promised by Isaiah. He's the real deal. He's the satisfaction of their longings, the one who is born in Bethlehem. And like so many new converts, the wise men, they know the Bible less well than the scribes, but they value it more. And following it, they find the child, full of hope and light, full of grace and truth. Now, I will not ask whether you are, you are reading your Bibles like the scribes, but I will ask whether when you read your Bible, you are looking for God. Like the Magi, look in your Bible not to find advantages for yourselves, like Herod, but to find one to worship and to serve. Three things brought the wise men 
to Jesus, the star, their wisdom, and the scripture. The star pushed them to ask what was happening, what God was doing, where they should go. Wisdom steered them away from what was life-destroying, and the scripture brought them to the source of life himself. Go thou and do likewise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us worship the Saviour with joy, and make our prayer to our Heavenly Father. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Father, grant to Christians everywhere the spirit of adoration. Lord of glory, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. The infant Christ received gifts of gold, incense and myrrh. Father, accept the offering of our hearts and minds at the beginning of this year. Lord of glory, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Father, grant us an abundance of peace to your world. Lord of glory, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Father, look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless and all who suffer. Lord of glory, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Your Son shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth. Father, protecting your love, our neighbours, our families and this community of which we are a part. Lord of glory, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the magi, the Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph and all the faithful departed. In your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We sing our next hymn, Brightest and best of the sons of the morning.
This weekend I emailed out the January edition of the Benefice Bulletin. If you're not on the emailing list for, uh, for that monthly newsletter, then could you please let me know and I'll happily add you to the mailing list. I also emailed out this week's edition of Root at Home, which is a weekly leaflet of prayers and activities based around the Sunday's reading. And if you would like a copy of that, which I'm sending out each Friday, then please uh, let me know. This is a wonderful uh, weekly publication produced by Roots, which, as you will know, uh, we use for most of the, the prayers and some of the liturgy used in this service. But now we're going to sing Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Thank you for sending me your pictures for this week's gallery, uh, showing us what you were doing over the festive period. Please continue to send me your pictures because they add so much to this service. But now we're going to enjoy this week's gallery. Debbie will now lead us in the special prayer for this week. Dear Lord, we pray for a positive new year to come for our families and loved ones, for our friends and neighbours, for the peoples of the earth. We pray that there will be peace and not war. We pray that the scientists combat coronavirus to reduce it to nothing. We pray that these years go down in history as years of importance for progress, fighting homelessness, fighting poverty, educating the masses. We pray too for our souls, for churchgoers 
and those whose spiritual ground is barren. Let us come together and build a wonderful world full of cooperation and delight. We ask this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. We sing our final hymn, as with gladness, men of old. Let us end our time together in prayer. Lord, as we continue our journey with you this week, as we seek to live out our faith every day, be with us, surprise with your love, nudge us when you want us to see or do something new. For Jesus' sake. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>